We'll start with Fabian Ardaya. Go ahead, Fabian. Hey, Brandon. Uh, how did this deal all come together, especially the trade aspect of it? Yeah, I mean, part of just our ongoing conversations throughout the offseason and exploring all avenues to continue to make the team better and specifically adding um, some, you know, impact starting pitching. <laughs> so it was, you know, those talks initially and then got a little more in depth over the last couple of weeks. And, you know, it was, we felt a really good opportunity to add um, somebody like Tyler's talent and with the opportunity then to keep him around past this year was, was really important. Yeah. What made uh, signing him to the extension so important, especially knowing some of the team control that you were kind of giving up on the other end there? Yeah. I think it was very important knowing, you know, Pep, uh, we were losing Pep in this and how, how much we thought of Pep, but being able to get Tyler, um, you know, on that extension and just from everything we've heard about him, like incredible person, uh, how he relates to teammates, work ethic, and then obviously his his stuff and what he's done when he's on the mound speaks for itself. So it was a, it was a really good combination and we felt confident in, um, you know, making that commitment to Tyler. And then just knowing, obviously, health-wise, and he hasn't thrown more than 120 innings this season, what are some of the factors that go into play? Is you know that you're going to sign this guy long term who has had some injury history? Yeah, I mean, I think it's getting with our medical group and our performance staff and coaches and hearing the history and how, you know, these injuries actually played out um, made us feel like, hey, I understand that there is no injuries in the past, but, you know, really – focused around his elbow, which has now been uh, handled. And then, you know, he's feeling great. He's understanding his body and our group knows that the combination of his work ethic and curiosity, you know, getting that all together is a good recipe for future success. Thanks, Brandon. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, Brandon, on the uh, on the injury history, he said kind of the same thing that he thinks it's all behind him now after the TJ surgery. How how confident are you that that's correct? And what kind of a workload can he carry? Yeah, I mean that was from all the conversations we've had. Um, we feel good that he's going to go out and be able to take the ball uh, as much as we need him to. And I think you know we've talked about workloads in the past it's going to be very fluid in knowing um, that we're going to have ongoing conversations with how Tyler's feeling and making sure he's, um, you know, being able to handle his work and his uh, maintenance in between every outing. So we're expecting full go from Tyler. Um, and I think we'll handle him in the same, you know, careful way that we handle all of our guys. Whose idea was it to have Shohei send him a, a video? Um, you know, those were through different conversations and Shohei, uh, thinks very highly of, of Tyler, because I'm sure when you face him, it's not very fun <laughs> on the, uh, to, um, you know, come together, like, yeah, I'll happily send him something to, to make him feel good about the organization. Thanks, Brandon. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna. Hey, Brandon, did you guys compare video of Tyler pre-elbow issues to last year? And if so, was there something you saw last year that convinced you that, hey, man, this stuff's really, truly behind him? Um, you know, our pitching group dove in and felt good. There was some movement on the rubber and, you know, who's moving. Um a little bit differently, but I think a lot of it is more about betting on how he's feeling, um, how good of an athlete he is in our performance and medical group, feeling like he's in a good position to kind of take off. We've seen <clears throat> this type of stuff with pitchers in the past where, you know, they get to a point and they start to understand their body and for whatever reason, things leading up to it, you know, you have hiccups, in the ability to take down 160 plus innings. Um, 
and then out of nowhere they take off. But I think it's years of building a base and having an understanding of what it is to take down a full workload. And, you know, from all of our conversations and betting on Tyler, the, the person and competitor, we felt very good about it. Thanks. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Brandon. Um, adding Tyler but losing Pepio, how much is continuing to add to the rotation still a priority? And then with the Mar uh, the Margot add, is, is corner outfield still something you want to continue looking at, or do you feel good there? Yeah, obviously it was a one-for-one -one swap. Um, so we're still looking to add talent and continuing to examine all, all avenues on the starting pitching front. Um, you know, and ultimately it's just about continuing to add as much pitching talent in, in depth as we possibly can. So we'll see how, you know, the coming weeks, months play out. Um, and as far as uh, Manny, I, I think the beauty of that is that he can play any position and handles both sides pretty well. He's better versus left and right, but, you know, he uh, can go up there and put together a high quality at bat versus right-handed pitching as well. So it allows us flexibility to continue to see what else is available um, and not having to, you know, box ourselves in one way or the other and just kind of let the offseason play out and be opportunistic. Thanks. Next question is from Sarah Rexler. Go ahead, Sarah. Um, yeah, just uh, on Margot specifically, um, how do you envision him factoring into the outfield alignment? Yeah, I mean, I think the ability to play anywhere is super helpful. So he, um, you know, depending on what Doc is thinking and in, in the lineup construction, there's different avenues for him to get out there. And our sense is that he will get a ton of reps and how that exactly looks uh, come regular season is, is TBD because, you know, we'll have the opportunity to explore different things leading up to that point. And then also, you know, injuries happen. So, um, you know, the fact that he's an elite defender and, and um, puts together a really good at bat in the box is very helpful for constructing the rest of the team. Thank you. I think that's going to do it. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it.